one of them unfolding at the Gardens Mall off PGA Boulevard in Palm Beach Gardens, where we've confirmed gunshots were fired inside the mall, sending people scrambling. Yeah, we have crews on the scene right now. This is near the Nordstrom's you're looking at on the west side of the mall, and you can see a large police presence over there. Most of them arrived to the scene around 2.30 this afternoon. The mall has been evacuated and tape has been placed around the parking lot entrances. Police, fire, and ambulances appear to be everywhere. Gardens Police also on social media around 346 today. They posted this. Reports of shots fired at the Gardens Mall. First responders on scene and investigating. The mall is on lockdown. Tonight, we have live team coverage from the scene. Our Victoria DeCardenas has details and what we know about the shooting. And our Katie Benty has been talking to employees, shoppers, and some families who say their loved ones were still inside. Let's get to her in a moment, but we begin with Victoria, who has the latest from authorities. What have you learned? Yeah, Jim and Liz, we've actually been staged here just behind the North County Mall off of, or rather, North County Courthouse off of PGA Boulevard. And the preliminary reports that we're hearing so far indicate this was not a mass shooting, rather an altercation between two people okay, that so escalated over. to gunfire. We haven't heard of any reports of arrests or any injuries, but we do know that the mall is under lockdown. And just a few moments before we got onto air, we saw the Palm Beach County Sheriff's office uh, escorting some employees of the library behind this courthouse to their car. They were escorting them two by two, opening their trunks and their back doors, making sure no one was in there. Uh, local schools right now are still on lockdown, including Dwight D. Eisenhower Elementary and others. Helicopters continue to circle the mall and the surrounding areas. Several agencies have set up shop here, including the Palm Beach Fire Department and West Palm Beach Fire Rescue. Now, we've been told to wait here as more information continues to trickle in. So once we hear from them, we'll report back to you guys. Jim and Liz. Thanks, Victoria. Now, some schools surrounding the Gardens Mall are on limited movement right now. That's not a lockdown. The schools impacted are on your screen. Palm Beach Gardens Community High School and Timber Trace Elementary School are now back to normal. However, Dwight D. Eisenhower and Watson B. Duncan Middle School are still on limited movement and are using a modified dismissal procedure for students. All right, so Liz, I want to give our viewers a better idea of where we're talking about. If you've never been to the Gardens Mall, it's just off of I-95 and Palm Beach Gardens Boulevard, and this is a map of that area right now. Uh, the mall, basically, uh, this is the PGA uh, Boulevard side. The incident we're talking about, it took place on the back side of the mall. This would have been um, right over here. I'll give you a better view. This is the entrance we're talking about between the P.F. Chang's restaurant and the Brio restaurant right in the parking lot there. And you can see this is the Macy's Furniture Store just across the way. This is a kind of a crude uh, drawing of the uh, directory that we're talking about. And if you look right here, this is the area we're talking about. Uh, it's right in here on this entrance right here. Again, PGA would be down here at the bottom. Uh, this is a pottery barn and a, a Travis Matthew golf store. That's the corridor where we believe that incident took place, but we're still waiting to get confirmation as to whether or not uh, that shooting actually happened right there in that corridor, if it was in the parking lot or maybe deeper in one of those common areas. Liz? Our Katie, Katie Benty is also at the Gardens Mall tonight. She spoke with people outside, some who are still waiting for their loved ones to come out. She joins us live tonight. Katie? Liz, that's right. I'm just across the street from the Gardens Mall. Nordstrom is right behind me. We're on Fairfield Gardens Avenue. Now, it's been a little chaotic here, but it doesn't appear there's any sort of danger to the public at this time. We've been speaking to a lot of people, not only just leaving the mall, but a lot of family members who are trying to reunite with loved ones who are still inside or were inside. One mom of a teenage daughter, she actually came to pick her up at the mall with her friend, but she had yet to hear back from her when we spoke to her and another man saying his wife works at one of the stores and he rushed over as soon as he heard what was happening. And as I arrived to the mall, I see all the police activity and helicopters and the officers with the guns and nobody's really kind of given me any information. But as soon as something was started to happen, she, the store closed its gates and they barricaded themselves in the break room. As of right now, it appears the mall is still on lockdown, but we'll continue to keep you guys updated as we learn more. Reporting live from Palm Beach Gardens, I'm Katie Benty, CBS 12 News.
Well, traffic over there right now has been a real mess. You're going to want to avoid that area. Uh, this is a traffic map that we put together a little while ago, and right now you can see uh, traffic looks like it is flowing in some of those yellow areas, but check back around 530. Uh, we'll have an update on that.